The preset dashboard is a very powerful UI component for the preset manager. So it cannot live alone, but it requires at least one manager to probably work. So uh, how can we use it? After placing it in your project, it will ask you to define a preset manager or just drop it here. You can see here on top in the parameters, a manager parameter where we can simply put it in. And as you can see, everything um, changed a little bit. When we remove this component now, you can also simply take the manager and drop it directly into the UI element if you like. This um, is totally up to you. The default mode it starts in is the record mode. And maybe we can, should try this first. So uh, we already have our noise plane here in our stack. And again, this is what we are always referencing. So now when we hit the record button, you will see it creates a new um, preset based on the name. So in this case, a dashboard, uh, which you defined here and a somewhat random integer. The idea here is to be able to very quickly um, store presets without interrupting your workflow. If you already have presets uh, inside of your component, uh, inside of the, the uh, preset manager, so for example, when we record a preset two here before, let's set a, another value here, press record, we can also use the map functionality. Using the map functionality, we can define um, any kind, uh, we, we can assign any preset already existing to one of the buttons here. So when we press map, you see it opens a new menu and our preset two here exists. If we have a lot of presets, we can use the filtering here to filter for a specific preset if, if they are like, I don't know, 100 different presets, which definitely is possible. And then we simply click the preset two button here and the preset two button now got selected. If we want to rename one of the presets we stored, because uh, now we have uh, just this random number here, we simply hit the rename button. We open this window and we can enter a new name and press enter and the component there, the preset got renamed. Now let us recall a preset, which is also very simple, simply changed in the recall mode. This is also the mode you probably want to have during a show. When uh, this one is selected, you can disable the uh, modes over here for one to have more real estate for your preset dashboard and also to uh, not click on any of the buttons. So we can disable it or leave it enabled. We now simply have the recall mode enabled and we press uh, our preset button here and maybe change uh, one of the values here. And as you can see, we can now quickly switch between the different values. We can adjust the time in the bottom. So now it like very slowly fades over the time. So this is the preset dashboard, one of the components. Also check out the other Tau CT preset uh, companions.